Harvey, you've really stepped in it now. You've awoken the sleeping giant. Hello, folks. Number one, protector of the women here, here to take old Hardy down a couple of notches. Harvey, you big, fat pervert. I mean, uh, get a load of this, folks. This Harvey character, he thinks that he can walk up to a lady, not even say a word to her, or maybe even just say some uh, trite uh, greeting as these predators will often do. And then, like it's nothing, he reaches out to touch her hand, reaches out to uh, grab her, uh, give her a handshake. What is wrong with this society, this misogynistic society, when Men believe they are entitled to a handshake from a woman when people like Hardy believe that they are entitled to touch a, a, a lady's uh, soft, uh, velvety hands. Oh, what, what absolute perverts, folks? It's just absolute. It's like I'm. It's like I'm in pervert city sometimes. <laughs> There's men that actually believe and don't see anything wrong with uh, going up to a lady in the office and saying hello and reaching out their hand to uh, grab the other ladies in a hand embrace or otherwise known as a handshake. It's absolute, uh, once again folks, I say it's like I'm in pervert city sometimes. I... Uh, I tell, uh, you know, I'll come into the office and I'll say, What the heck are you doing, jerk? Put your hand in your pocket and get the heck out of town. Because uh, a lot of these predators, they like to prey on the women, but once you get a man like me in the room, uh, they don't want to tango. They uh, tuck their tails beneath their legs and uh, run away. But, uh... I guess this misogynism that's rampant, uh, I guess that's the society that elected Bill Clinton, folks. Uh, I actually offer several coaching classes to women, several tips on uh, several blogs that I upload, and I tell women, uh, if someone initiates a handshake with you without full... Uh, enthusiastic consent from you and they try to reach out their hand you have every right to defend yourself up to killing that man that did that that does that to you we're not going to stand for this any longer folks and this hardy weinstein let me tell you he's certainly no einstein folks <laughs> He's just a big punk, a big, sick punk. I mean, this guy was trying to get ladies to massage him. He was trying to, uh, he would offer to relieve a lady's stress by giving her a massage. What a freak. What a psycho. What an absolute and utter creep. And some of the things he did were so unspeakable, I won't even say them on here. I don't want people to even hear. You don't even want to hear about the twisted things he's done. Uh, the the only way to see so uh, I actually do give a detailed account on my Tumblr uh, account. But I, I'm not even going to go into all of it. It's such sick, uh, uh, sick, disgusting uh, stuff. Hardy, uh, you're going to get fired. Uh, you're going to get fired. You deserve to be fired from your company. And I would say that Harvey deserves a fee of $50 for all the bad, disgusting, uh, unthinkable things he's done. This can't go on. Uh, this can't go on any longer. I've known young ladies that... Uh, I've known young ladies that uh, don't even like uh, walking in the store because every now and again uh, some burly uh, man will sort of shoot a glance at them or wave and say hello as if uh, he has a right to talk to the lady. 
So, Harvey, I've never thought you were handsome in any way. I don't think you have one positive attribute with your face. You are a very ugly, ugly uh, punk. And uh, ladies, if any of you are being disturbed by any sick uh, freaks, uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment in the comment section or leave your email address and I will uh, uh, offer you uh, a sort of therapy to help you through it. We're not going to let perverts like Hardy. Uh, society's changing. These perverts aren't. They're not going to be in positions of power. They're not going to be unchecked doing these things much longer. Mark my words on that.